Are you interested in constructing solid and long-lasting relationships with your leads? The key resides within the realms of lead nurturing and automation. But what exactly does this mean? Lead nurturing is the deliberate process of engaging your leads by providing them with relevant information at each stage of the buyer's journey. It's a way to sway prospects in your favor by giving them what they need when they need it. This simple yet effective strategy can significantly help in building trust, fostering relationships and ultimately driving conversions. But where does automation come into play? It's the magic wand that makes the process smoother, quicker and more efficient. Automation in lead nurturing saves time and allows you to focus on other significant tasks. It can also aid in managing and nurturing leads with personalized content and follow-ups, ensuring no opportunity is missed. It's about working smart, not hard. Combining both lead nurturing and automation creates a powerful recipe for success. Not only do they help in the development of strong relationships with your leads, but they also give a considerable boost to your conversions. Imagine being able to secure and cultivate more leads in less time and with less effort. That's the power of these two elements combined. So today, we'll delve deeper into how lead nurturing and automation can be harnessed effectively to magnify your conversions and create robust relationships with your leads. Stay tuned for insights that could transform the way you approach lead nurturing and automation and ultimately the success of your business. Our narrative commences with the concept of segmentation. Let's delve deeper into the process of dividing your leads. This can be accomplished based on several criteria such as demographics, behavior and interests. Demographics can include age, gender and location. By subdividing based on behavior, we mean the actions your leads have taken like website visits, purchases and preferences. Interests might be what your leads are fascinated by, what they follow or what they invest their time in. Having done that, let's talk about tailoring content to each segment. Once you've segmented your leads, it's time to create content that is customized to each group. This content should be designed to resonate with the specific needs and pain points of each segment. For example, if one of your segments is a younger demographic, your content might be more laid back and conversational, while a more professional segment might prefer concise and informative content. Always keep in mind their unique needs and pain points while crafting your content. It's all about delivering the right message to the right person at the right time. Moving forward, we delve deeper into the realm of lead nurturing campaigns. This journey takes us through the intricacies of using email marketing automation platforms. These platforms are digital tools designed to automate your email marketing strategy, saving you time and effort. But how do we set up automated campaigns? Let's break it down. First, define your campaign goals and your target audience. Next, map out your email sequence and the triggers for each email. Then integrate your campaign with the platform of your choice. Once set up, these campaigns can run automatically, ensuring the right message reaches the right person at the right time. Now, let's talk about the heart of these campaigns. A crafted series of emails. These emails are not just random messages. Instead, they are carefully designed pieces of communication that provide valuable content, educational resources, and product information. This content aims to nurture your leads, providing them with all the information they need to move through the sales funnel. Whether it's a how-to guide, an informational blog post, or detailed product specifications, each email serves a definitive purpose in guiding your leads towards conversion. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of adding a personal touch with personalization. Employing merch tags or dynamic content in your emails is a strategic way to infuse a sense of familiarity. They are placeholders that you can replace with personalized content. Simply create a merge tag for every piece of dynamic information you want to include in your email. When you send the email, the software automatically replaces the merge tags with the appropriate data. For example, 
you can create a merge tag for the recipient's first name and the email software will replace it with the first name of each subscriber when the email is sent out. Now let's work on leveraging data from previous interactions to provide personalized recommendations and offers. This involves analyzing past interactions with your customers and using that data to create targeted marketing campaigns. For instance, if your analytics show a customer frequently purchasing a particular product, you could send them a personalized offer for related products. This not only shows them that you understand their needs, but also encourages repeat business. Personalized recommendations, thus, lead to an increase in customer engagement and satisfaction. Assigning points to leads is a crucial part of the lead scoring process, and it is primarily based on their actions and engagement levels. This is typically done by quantifying their interaction with your product or service, such as the frequency of their visits, the length of their stay, or their usage of certain features. Increased engagement generally translates to more points. For instance, if a lead visits your website frequently, they may be awarded a higher point value than someone who visits occasionally. Similarly, if a lead spends a considerable amount of time browsing through your product catalog, this could be indicative of a higher level of interest, and thus they might receive more points. The key is to quantify these actions into a scoring system, with those acquiring higher scores being tagged as highly engaged leads. By doing this, you can quickly identify the leads who are more likely to convert into actual customers. This method of scoring allows you to prioritize your follow-up efforts effectively by focusing more on the individuals who exhibit greater engagement levels. Thus, lead scoring serves as an efficient roadmap for your sales efforts, directing you towards the leads that are most likely to result in sales conversions. To trigger automated workflows, you must first identify the specific actions or behaviors that will be the catalyst. This could be a website visit, a form submission, or any other user engagement. For instance, when a user navigates to your web page, this visit can trigger your workflow. Similarly, a user submitting a form on your site can also be a signal to activate the workflow. To set up these triggers, you need to use tracking tools or website analytics that can monitor user activity. When a specific action is detected, the tool can send a signal to your workflow system to commence the particular automation. To automatically send relevant follow-up emails, you need to create an email template that aligns with the action or behavior that triggered the workflow. This email could be a thank you note for visiting your website or an acknowledgement of a form submission. Ideally, these emails should be personalized and reflect the user's activity. Moving leads to different segments based on their interactions is another crucial part of automated workflows. This involves grouping leads based on their behavior or actions. For example, if a user submits a form indicating their interest in a specific product, they can be moved to a segment dedicated to that product. Remember, this requires a clear understanding of your leads and their interests. The more segmented your audience, the more tailored and impactful your communication will be. Let's delve deeper into the process of developing a successful drip campaign. This involves designing a series of timed emails that, over a certain period, deliver a consistent and precious message to potential clients. And as these prospects move through the campaign, it becomes essential to gradually amplify the level of interaction and detailed product information. This is a step-by-step -step approach to keep the leads engaged and informed at every phase of the campaign. However, you may be wondering, how do you deal with leads that have become inactive? There is no cause for alarm as the solution lies in lead re-engagement. The implementation of automated workflows is the key here. You'll start by identifying inactive leads and segmenting them based on their previous engagement levels or interests. Next, 
you create and schedule a series of personalized emails or messages to be sent at strategic intervals, effectively re-engaging these leads. But that's not all. Consider offering incentives, exclusive content, or special promotions to reignite their interest. The process begins with understanding your leads' preferences and suggesting incentives that align with their needs, such as discounts or free trials for products they've shown interest in. Exclusive content can range from webinars to ebooks, while special promotions can be anything from holiday sales to limited time offers. These strategies can serve to rekindle the interest of previously inactive leads. When it comes to email marketing, the effectiveness of behavioral triggers should never be underestimated. To send personalized emails based on specific actions like abandoned cart reminders or product recommendations, it's essential to first understand your customer's shopping patterns and preferences. For abandoned cart reminders, identify when a customer leaves items in their cart without completing the purchase. Then, construct a friendly, persuasive email to remind them about their unfinished shopping process, subtly nudging them back towards making that purchase. On the other hand, for product recommendations based on browsing history, analyze the customer's previous browsing data to understand their likes and dislikes. Use this information to suggest similar products that they might be interested in, enhancing their shopping experience and potentially increasing sales. The importance of personalization in email marketing cannot be overstated. Personalized emails ensure that your customers feel valued and understood, which can cultivate brand loyalty, improve customer engagement, and ultimately increase conversions. Therefore, it's not just about sending emails, but sending the right emails at the right time to the right people. To effectively use social media automation, you must first understand how scheduling and posting content works. Start by identifying content that correlates with your email campaigns. This can be a blog post, an infographic, or a short video. Once you've identified the content, use the scheduling feature in your social media automation tool. Input the date and time you want the post to go live and ensure it aligns with when your email campaign is sent out. Engaging with leads on social media involves a proactive approach. Monitor comments and likes on your posts, recognize potential leads, and interact with them by responding to their comments or messages. You can also initiate the conversation by commenting on their posts or sending them a direct message. When it comes to promptly responding to comments and inquiries, set up notifications so you're alerted when someone interacts with your social media posts. Prioritize responding to these interactions as quickly as possible to keep the conversation going and to show your audience that you value their engagement. In order to maintain a high level of performance in your lead nurturing campaigns and automation workflows, it's crucial that continuous monitoring is in place. Keep vigilant by regularly checking on your campaign's performance, tracking key metrics and patterns. These could include lead conversion rates, customer engagement, or even sales numbers. To analyze the data effectively, it is essential to digest and understand the information that is at your disposal. Look for patterns, trends, and anomalies in your data. If there are areas that are not performing as expected, delve into why and how this is happening. This could be due to a number of factors such as content, timing, or even the type of leads you are attracting. Once you have identified these areas for improvement, you can then begin to optimize your automation strategy. This could include refining your content, redefining your target audience, or adjusting the timing of your workflows. The optimization process is a constant one. Always be ready to make adjustments and tweaks to ensure your campaigns are as effective as possible. Remember, the goal is to improve and adapt, not to create a perfect automation strategy. To sum up, constructing firm relationships with prospects is a voyage that assimilates elements like segmentation, nurturing of leads, customization, scoring leads, 
mechanized processes, drip strategies, re-engaging leads, behavioral prompts, social media automation, and routine scrutiny and assessment. These facets, when amalgamated, pave the path for enriching relationships with your leads and consequentially boost conversions. So keep fostering those leads and we'll catch up in the next session.